Skill Development, Floor Football. Hi everybody, it's Mr. Barton for Victory Physical Education Online here in my house to play another game called Floor Football. For Floor Football, you will need a box. This is just a tissue box. It is an empty one. If you want it to be full, you could also use a full tissue box. You will also need two taped lines on the floor about 10 to 15 uh, feet apart from one another. Okay, so the object of this game is to score touchdowns and make extra points. You do that by putting the box on the floor, on the line, and then kicking the box and attempting to get your box to land on the opposite line on the other side and touch the line. It cannot go over, it cannot be short, so it would look similar to this. All right, that one went past the line, so there was no points. All right, if it lands on the line, again, anywhere on the line, it is six points. Once you score a touchdown, you get a chance for an extra point. We will show you what the extra point looks like in the, tutorial, in, in the uh, demonstration of the video. Um, again, you can play up to whatever score you want, a certain point, uh, 36 points, um, 35 points, really whatever you want to play up to uh, with you and your opponent. So stay tuned for the demonstration. We're going to uh, show you how to play floor football. I will also show you how to make a paper football. Uh, you saw a short video before the um, demonstration on how to make a paper football as well. So stay tuned for the demonstration. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody, we're back for the demonstration of floor football. I won the rock, paper, scissors contest, so I get to go first. I start with the box touching my end line, and I'm going to attempt to get uh, six points by getting the box to land on the end line for six points. If I get six points and a touchdown, I get my chance for an extra point. Here we go. All right, so first kick, I just kick it once, and oh, look at that, on the first try, okay, I got a touchdown, Woo! six points. Now, if we're gonna show you how uh, a extra point works, so here's how an extra point works. This is where you need your paper football, all right? So I have six points, I'm going for the extra point. Um, I'm going to, Charlie's gonna make the field goal. I'm going to put the uh, football down here in an attempt to flick it between the uprights, all right? That was perfect, right down the middle, okay? So I got um, six, uh, one point for that and six for the touchdown, so I'm up to seven points, or Okay, I could also move, I'm the red, on my yardstick here up to seven. All right, so a couple of different ways that you want to keep points. All right, so that was the first try, so I will let Charlie see if he can even things up here. And again, this is his first turn. He shoots, it falls a little short. Now I can kick it right from there, I don't need to take it back to the line. All right, so again, it's 7-0, and I'm going to kick the football, and that one was a little short, it's still 7-0. He can adjust it a little bit. So as long as he's not moving it and he kicks it, again, it's a little bit short. So all right, if you adjust the box a little bit, and I kick it, and is it touching? It's, it's not touching, I like, barely missed it. Okay, that was close. He shoots, he had the same problem. He barely, if you can see that it's not quite touching. Okay, so that's not a touchdown yet. He's inches away from the goal line. Again, still 7-0, shoots, and uh, went over. Again, that one doesn't count. Now, he can put it right on the line to start. Charlie's struggling here today, okay? I can adjust this from here. I don't have to take it back to the goal line. I kick it, and up. Oh, it's touching the line. I get another chance for an extra point. All right, I'm already up 7 nothing. Again, he makes the goal post. I do the kick, the false start. Press a little harder. Again, I made the field goal. So now you would just put plus. So, and seven plus seven is what? Write down 14. I'm just gonna write down 14 there. All right, and I'm up 14 0. Charlie's gonna, we're gonna give him one more try, one more try to see if he can move a little closer to the lead. Oh, that was too strong. Let's try again. All right, if I score here, it's over. A little short, a little short. Uh, 
All right. I think it's Charlie's turn to score here. What do you think? Charlie is struggling in this game. All right. We go two more times. One more time from him, uh, Charlie. One more time for me. One more time for Charlie, and then we'll end it here. All right. So he's got a chance here to make this respectable. He didn't quite do it, so I'm going to say that I won this game. It was 14 to nothing. Again, you can play what to up to whatever score you would like. Uh, give it a try. It's called floor football. You need a box. Okay. You need a some tape on the floor. You also need a paper football. If you want, you could use a yardstick uh, for the scorekeeping uh, or just a piece of paper. Again, it's floor football. Give it a try. And as always, thanks for watching. And remember to get your 60 minutes of exercise a day your way. Four, three, two, one, go. How to make a paper football. All right, everybody, here's how to make a paper football. All right, start with the holes. If you have holes in your paper, start with the holes at the top. Fold it down, and you're going to fold it in half and make a really good crease. All right, so you have a crease right there. Holes are on the bottom. Now fold it again. Again, make a good crease. All right, so you got there. Phase three. All right, next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold this in half. Again, you want to make sure you fold it with a good crease. All right, so you fold it in half like that. All right, so far so good. Now this helps to draw a line here, right down the middle, so you can see where your crease is. All right, you don't have to draw the line, but it helps. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fold that and make start making a triangle. All right, so there's your first look of having to be a football. All right, so it kind of looks like an L. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna fold that down, again, make another crease at the top, and you got yourself Looks like an L. All right, so you turn it over so you can see the crease, and then you're gonna kind of fold around the back, make another crease over here, and then another one right here. All right, so I've got something that looks like this. All right, now you're gonna have that little pouch right here. See that little pouch? You're gonna put that little leftover part right in that pouch. All right, so it looks like this. Okay. Now you can draw a line at the top again for that crease, and you're going to crease that down over here. All right, make a good crease. All right, and then you have a little F left over on the bottom, so you're also going to fold that over. All right, so it kind of looks like a square at the moment. Now you're going to take that square, and you're going to fold it in like this, and you see that little hole, little pouch right there? You're going to put that whole square in that pouch. And again, you're gonna to need to make a crease at the top. All right, so I got that right there. Make the little crease. Again, now you have a square. We want a football. So now you have to fold it in half. And this is where you might wanna put it on the table, fold it like this, and you have yourself something that looks similar to this. Now that you're not quite done, you'll see that little pouch right there. You kind of take the end of it and bend it a little bit. Like I bended this little end right here, and then I fold it to make a triangle, and I kind of put it in this little pouch right over here. You have to bend the paper a little bit. Sometimes it gets stuck in there. Let me take that out again. Give you a better chance to see it. That one was not very good. So I'm gonna bend this, put it in that little pouch struggling to get that thing all the way in there. It's not that that bad, but once you get it in, you make a little pouch, and now you have yourself a football. All done. Get 60 minutes of exercise a day your way. Four, three, two, one, go.